Hello my dear friends, I welcome you all to our channel Best Notes Tutorials. Today we are going to deal with another day's MCQ and uh, this is day 21st. In our last videos we have tried to include maximum questions which are frequently asked in the examination. The same thing we are going to do here as well. I hope this is going to be very helpful for you all. Let's begin with the question answers. Let's start. Question number one. In one of Stephen King's books created in 1987, Paul Sheldon is trapped in Annie Wilkes house with no escape. Paul Sheldon was a famous writer known for his writing books about known for writing books about which title character? Here your options are Misery Chastain, Misery White Rose, option B, option C, Misery Swan, and option D, Misery Deschain. So here your correct answer is Misery Chastain. Let's see the highlighters to make it more clear. After his car crash on slippery Colorado Road, Paul Sheldon is taken in by an experienced nurse after Annie Wilkes, who recognizes him as she is his number one fan. She has him here heal in her house while she wrote, while she reads his latest romance novel, Misery's Child. When she realizes that he has killed Misery to end the series of books. She goes on a rampage, trapping him in his house to write Misery's Return. Misery later won Kathy Bates the Best Actress Oscar for her portrayal of Annie Wilkes. James Cann played the role of the injured author Paul Sheldon. I hope question number one is clear to all my friends. Let's move to question number two. One of King's short stories from Everything's Eventual is about a writer of non-fiction books about haunted place, places. Which story is this? Option A, that feeling you can only say what it is in French. Option B, everything is eventual. Option C, 1800 and, sorry, 1408. Option D, the man in the black suit. So here, option C is correct. That is 1408. The name of the story is 1408. Let's move towards the highlighters. 1408 is about... Mike Enslin, who has written books like Ten Nights in Ten Haunted Castles and Ten Nights in Ten Haunted Graveyards to spook readers. He knows none of this is real, but he travels to room 1408 in the Hotel Dolphin for his new book and finds that there are some places that are truly haunted. Let's move to question number three. Jack Torrance is the antagonist of antagonist and one of the main characters of The Shining who ultimately loses his sanity. Where did the story of The Shining take place? Option A, The Overlook Hotel. Option B, Hotel Dolphin. Option C, Boyamon. Option D, the Colorado Hotel. So here your correct option goes with option A, the Overlook Hotel. Overlook Hotel is the place where the story, The Shining, took place. Let's see the highlighters to make it more clear. The Overlook Hotel, built on an ancient Indian burial ground, is able to trap Jack and cause him to try and destroy his wife and son. Danny Torrance, Jack's son, 
has the mysterious shining that allows him to communicate during communicate using telepathic powers after he is passed over for a job with a renowned school jack takes the family to colorado where he acts as the caretaker for the overlook hotel and begins writing a new book question number 4 sacred window sacred garden is a short story from 4 past midnight what is the name of the writer or the protagonist of the novella here novella means a short story okay option a john sullivan option b richard batchman option c mort rainy option d bobby garfield here option c is the correct answer let's see the highlighters when a mysterious man visits mort regarding a manuscript mort's life is changed the man claims that mort copied his ideas in later turns out it later turns out that the man is actually mort's alternate personality who performs tasks while mort is suffering from nightmares in his sleep secret window later became a movie starring Johnny Depp as Mort Rainey Question number 5 In the Regulators Johnny Edward Marinville is the writer of which journal of books Option A history textbooks Option B horror novels Option C children's books Option D biographies So here correct option is option C children's books let's see the highlighters of the answer the popular street johnny marinville is tossed on into the madness of the creatures spawned by tack an evil spirit okay tack is evil spirit in the body of seth weiler who visited the china pit in desperation nevada Though the children's books aren't central to the plot, Marinville wrote the book Delight as well as a series of books about Pat the Kitty Cat, a pet detective. Let's move to question number 6. In desperation, Johnny Marinville appeared once again. How was Johnny crossing the country to research a new book? Option A on a lawn mower option b in a plane option c on a motorcycle and option d in a train here option c is correct answer on a motorcycle johnny crossed the country to research a new book question uh, let's see the highlighters on the interstate outside of desperation nevada Marinville was caught taking a leak beside the Harley in the ditch. Collie Estrogen with the spirit of Tack inside of him planted marijuana in his motorcycle pouch and placed him under arrest taking him to the madness in desperation. Marinville was crossing the country on his bike visiting book signing points along the way the steve aims once again johnny wrote the novel delight as well as numerous short stories question number 7 what is that beaumont's pen name in the dark half option a allen pangborn option b timothy hutton option c george stark and option d walter odin here your option is c which is correct george stark is the pen name of thad beaumont in the dark half highlighter says 
In the dark half, Beaumont tries to kill off the man behind his pen name, but is unable to break an odd bond between himself and George Stark. Stark was the pen name that Beaumont used to write gory yet highly acclaimed crime novels. Gory means unpleasant, dark. Okay. The character parallels Stephen King himself because some of his more violent books were published under the Richard Batchman pseudonym. Pseudonym means nickname. Okay, not the original name. Question number eight. What is the name of Lisi's famous author husband who passed away in Lisi's story? Option A, John. Option B, Scott. Option C, Dave. And option D, Edward. Here your correct option is option C. Sorry, option B, that is Scott. Scott is the name of Lizzie's famous author husband who passed away in Lizzie's story. Okay, keep in mind, Scott is very common name, so you will never forget it. Realize, sorry, <clears throat> let's see the highlighters. Released in 2006, Lizzie's story was the first novel to follow King's return to the horror genre after the Dark Tower in Cell. Lizzie's story outlines the story of Lizzie Landon, whose husband, an accomplished writer winning many awards, has passed away two years earlier. Lizzie must travel to the world of Boya Moon, a place that Scott created in order to finish what he started. Question number 9. In the Dark Tower series, Stephen King's appear as himself as the translator of Ronald's, sorry, Roland's story, which of these is not one of the things that King does to help the cartet. Option A. Sends the room 1919 key card to Jake O. Oy and Pierre Challen in New York 1999. Option B. Decides Decides to continue and finish the story following the car crash in Maine in 1999. Option C leaves a note in the bathroom of the house on Oates Lane. Option D, which is the correct answer, writes Oh Susana Mio, divided girl of mine. Dunn parked her rig in the Dixie Pick in the year of 99. On the fence outside the vacant lot in New York, 1977. Here, option D is correct. He wrote, Oh, Sun Susanna Mio, divided girl of mine, Dunn parked her rig in the Dixie Pick in the year of 99. On the fence outside the vacant lot in New York, which was published in the year 1977. In Wolves of Kala, the Carcade finds the book Salim's Lot in a collection owned by Calvin Tower in exchange for the vacant lot. This bookcase of rare novel was dragged into Kala through the door in the doorway cave and the book was discovered by Pere Callahan who plays a major role in the novel. When Eddie and Roland visit King in Song of Susanna, King realizes he must felicitate the story of the cartet and Roland's quest. But fearing that people don't want him to write it, King stops and becomes unprotected by Gan. Jake sacrifices himself in 1999 to save King, who later goes on to finish the story of Roland and the Dark Tower. Let's move to question number 10. I tried so hard to fight for the souls in Salim's lot. After Barlow killed Mark's parents, I asked for the Lord's help when Barlow cornered me. My 
cross clothed began to cast barlow away but my faith started to fail me my cross deemed and i was forced to drink barlow's blood now i am cursed who says this here your options are father callahan option b father straker option c father mears option d father o tool so here option d is father o tool and the uh, correct option is option a that is father callahan father callahan is one of the four survivors from the vampire attacks in salem slot the others being mark petri mark mears and the town constable he is part of a movement to stop the vampire and help kill several several with stakes in the end his faith isn't strong enough the barlow's blood cursed him forbidden him to even enter his own church father callahan later makes an appearance in stephen king's dark tower series Question number eleven. I guess you could say I lived a charmed life at one point. I had a beautiful wife and two precious children. That all changed when my little boy Gage was run over by a truck on a highway. The weaving was a disaster. My wife's father had the nerve to blame me for my son's death. it got so out of hand and i punched him in the face right then and there i could not live without my son i wanted my life back so i did what i had to i brought my son back to life wouldn't you who said this option a louis creed option b victor pasco option c jude crandla sorry crandall option d jim b jimmy batman so here correct option is louis creed this is from the book pet cemetery louis son gage is run over by a truck thanks to jude crandall who had told him about an ancient burial ground and brought people back from the dead this Perret Louis wants to resurrect his son. However, Jude warned him that the people were never the same when they come back. Distraught with grief, Louis buries his son anyway. Gage Gage comes back changed. Now evil, he is able to talk like an adult, although he was just learning to walk when he died. He murders Jude Crandall's wife and his own mother causing the now nuisance louis to kill his son with morphine my wife question number 12 <clears throat> my wife should have known the rules we have been married for 14 years and there have been plenty of times when i have had to talk to her right up close if you understand If you understand what I am saying then the woman left and even worse had the nerve to take my ATM card she won't get away with this no sir what is she thinking i am a cop and when i do find her i will be her worst nightmare comes true who says this option a norman daniel option b bill Stainer, option C, Peter Slovic, option D, Will Dearborn. So here, option A, that is Norman Daniels, is the correct answer. Let's see the highlighters. Norman Daniels is an abusive husband in Rose Madder, punching his wife in the face for spilling iced tea and once causing her to miscarry. He is also suspended. sorry suspected for killing a prostitute once he finds out that his once timid wife has left him 
he goes on a rampage, doing all he can to find his wife. Question number 13. I loved those kids. They didn't care that I was Jewish. We all, we were all outcasts back then and made a group, the Losers Club. I know I made a blood oath, but I could not go back. I just couldn't do it. The others may have forgotten, but I never did. How can they expect me to go back to a town that spewed up blood from a faucet? I will die before I go back to Derry. Let's move to the options. Option A. Who says this? Option A. Richie Tozio. Option B. Option B. George Denbro. Option C. Henry Bauer. Option D. Stan Uris. Here, option D, that is Stan Uris, is the correct answer. He speaks those sentences. Highlighter says, Stan seems to be the only one who really remembers all the details of what really happened when the kids were confronted with it. The rest of the groups seem to have forgotten or blocked out almost all the details of their childhood horrors. After he is called back by Mike to let him know it is back, Stan slits his wrists in the bathtub. Question number 14. I never thought saving my best friend would cost me my own family. My parents don't believe in God, but I know he is real. He has given me powers and he told me that we have to defeat talk. Okay, evil spirit. But it's too much. I don't want to do this anymore. Doesn't he realize I'm not, a, I'm only a kid? Who says these lines? Your options are option A, Colleen Estrogen. Option B, Cynthia Smith. Option C, Audrey Villa. Option D, David Carver. So here option D is correct. That is David Carver. Let's see the highlighters for the correct option D. In desperation, David's best friend is about to die in a hospital when David prays for him, when David prays for him to leave. God allows this, but lets him know that there will be a time in the future when he will have to pay back his IOU. The time happens to be when a lazy cop calling estrogen puts the whole family in jail. Colin has been taken over a demon known as Talk. The survivors of Colin band together and try to defeat Talk, but it is young David who has to lead the charge as he is the only one God communicates. He is the only one God communicates. Question number 15. That boy had the shine. I knew it immediately. I didn't like the thought of him being isolated in that hotel. It has a nasty history. Told him that he better stay away from room 217. If there is trouble, I hope he gives me a shout. I'll hear him. Who said this? Option A. Hoesh Derwent. Option B. Jack Torrance. Option C. Dick uh, Halloran Option D Stuart Ullman Here your option goes Correct option goes with option C That is Dick Halloran Halloran said these Above mentioned sentences Let's see the highlighters In the signing Dick Halloran recognizes Danny Torrance is clairvoyant immediately immediately because they can hear each other's thoughts dick is the hotel chef and is on his way to florida on the off season but is wary of the family staying at the hotel by themselves later in the story danny's father jack 
who has fallen off the wagon, goes crazy and tries to kill his wife and son. Danny calls Dick telepathically and Dick comes back to the Overlook Hotel to help him. Question number 16. I don't actually remember where I came from and I don't much care. I sent dreams to the survivors. If they are smart, they'll come to Las Vegas and have everything they have ever wanted. Power, wealth and all of man's desires. As of Abigail's go good gooders. Abigail's do-gooders, they are going to suffer. Count on it. Who said this? Option A. Lloyd Henried. Option B. Randall Flagg. Option C. Tom Cullen. And option D. Glenn Bateman. Bateman. Here, correct answer is Randall Flagg. Let's see the highlighters. Randall Flagg is the Antichrist in this stand he recruits members that survive the super flu by sending them dark dreams that appeal to their darkest desires people with good hearts are appalled by these dreams flank's only goal is to destroy people he has vague recollection of kkk hangings being involved with the Charles Manson family, assisting in kidnapping party, Hearst and other evil things but doesn't really understand where he comes from. Randall Flagg appears in the Dark Tower series and The Eyes of the Dragon. Question number 17. I travel a lot. I have to. The low men are always searching for me. I have taken to the boy downstairs, though. He is a good kid with a crappy mom. I hired him to read the papers to me, told him my eyes were bad. After a while, I told him about the low man. If he starts seeing signs about missing pets or chalk drawing of stars, he knows to tell me. That's even, that's when. I'll be time, it'll be time for me to move on again. Let's see the options. Who said this? Option A, Ted Bottigan. Option B, Harry Dolin. Option C, Bobby Garfield. Option D, Richie O'Meara. Here, here correct option is Ted Bottigan. Okay, Brotigan. Ted has psychic abilities that the low men must possess in low men in yellow coats. He is a breaker which, which won't make much sense unless you have read the Dark Tower series and only wants to use his powers for good. Ted takes Bobby under his wing, teaching him all about the power of books and being the first adult to truly care about him. Bobby starts to see all of the signs that Ted warned him about. He even sees one in his own mother's purse. For his own reasons, he chooses to stay quiet. Question number 18. As far as I am concerned, those police officers killed themselves. I have been running from them for days. They tried to blow me in the sewers and killed the wrong person look i'm not a bad guy i only running i'm only running to save my daughter's life she has the flu and we don't have the money to pay for it my wife's earning our living on her back to pay for food the network runs a crooked game the network runs a crooked games but I have to at least try to save my family. I could not sit there doing nothing anymore. It was killing me more than this game is. Who said 
these lines option a evan mc con bobby thompson option c dan killan dan killan uh, sorry killian option d ben richards so here option d is correct that is ben richards let's see the highlighters ben is a character from the running man one of the books king wrote one of the books king wrote as richard patchman after his daughter gets the flu and the family doesn't have the money to buy medicine ben goes on to the network which is a governmental organization that promotes games to keep people quiet ben takes a battery of tests and scores very high which gets him a spot on the running man show where he has a 12 hour hot head start to hide from the officials who attempt to hunt him down the winner gets 1 billion dollar if he or she outlasts the hunters those main whose main whose main goal is to kill the contestant in spite of the grand reward no one has ever won before question number 19 can you imagine writing for a fix and feeling your body being taken over by another man have you ever watched your eyes change colors have you been yucked through a door that led to a desert in another world probably not that's the life i live i follow ronald roland around trying to shake an addiction to heroin in for his crazy quest for some kind of tower i don't even think he knows what he is looking for who said these lines your option goes option a jake chambers option b dinky on option c cutbird al good all good and option d ad dean so here ad dean is the correct answer let's see the highlighters ad dean first appeared in book two of king's dark tower series hooked on heroin and nearly busted after transporting drugs roland roland deschain takes over eddie's body so he can transport him to the world to assist him on his quest at first very resentful and mistrusting of roland eddie comes eddie becomes a gunslinger in his own right and are later joined by susanna jake and oi in an attempt to help save the world Question number 20. Everyone loves Peter. He is always been the favorite. Always. My father loves him. Even though I am more like my dad rather, rather than Peter is. I guess it makes sense. Peter is tall and handsome and I am average and fat. He is smart and has lots of friends and I am not any smart. I am not that smart. The only friend I have is my father's advisor, Flag. He doesn't like my brother. He likes me. He believes in me and thinks I could be king. Even though no one else does, Flag has plans for me. Someday I will be king. Who said these lines? Your options are Thomas Option B, Dennis. Option C, Ben. And option D, Anders. Here, option A, that is Thomas, is the correct answer. Thomas said those lines. Thomas is a slow, dance-like character, much like his father, King Roland. From the eyes of the dragon, Roland heavily favors his eldest son, Peter because he reminds him of his deceased wife, who was secretly murdered under Flagg's orders. Peter doesn't trust Flagg, but Thomas does, partially out of desperation for someone to believe in him. Question number 21. 
doesn't Paul understand that I am his number one fan? I am only trying to do what is best for him. Fast cars was full of profanity and crudeness. That's why he had to burn it. I wasn't trying to hurt him, but he doesn't mind hurting me. He didn't care how much it hurt when he killed Misery Crustine. Goodness, no well, we will just see about that. I think he is forgetting. Who is in charge here? Who feeds him and gives him his bills? Option A. Eve Hillman. Option B. Baker Paulson. Option C. Annie Wilkes. And option D. Bobby Anderson. Here, option C is correct. These lines are spoken by Annie Wilkes. After author Paul Sheldon crashes in a snowstorm, former nurse Annie Wilkes rescues him in misery. After recognizing her favorite author, she takes him to her house instead of, instead of the hospital. At first, Annie seems like a godsend, but it turns out that there is a reason why Annie is no longer a nurse. Assuming responsibility to Paul, it doesn't take longer to Annie's cracks to start showing. Cracks start showing the problems. The problem? Paul's leg is shattered and Annie is on him 24-7. No one knows where he is except for a psychotic former nurse. Kathy Bates won an award, won an Oscar for her portrayal of Annie in the movie Misery. Friends remember her name? Sometimes they ask these kind of questions as well. Let's move to question number 22. I used to have a pretty normal life. I had a wife, two kids and an enormous salary. Everything changed after I was in a car accident. I lost my arm. My wife divorced me after my wild mood swing took over. And I moved to Florida to get away from it all. The weird thing is, I seem to have developed a talent for painting. It's an obsession now. I paint until I lost all track of time. Who said these lines? Option A. Tom Riley. Option B. Edgar Fremantle. Option C. Jerome Wyman. And option D. Xander Kamen. Here, option B is correct. That is Edgar Fremantle. It turns out that in Dumaki there is an evil spirit who is using Edgar's paintings to carry out her will. This entirely knows, known this entity known as Persephone in somehow present in Edgar's paintings. All who possesses one is in danger of something terrible happen to them including becoming possessed by Persephone or dying themselves. When Edgar puts the pieces together, it may be too late. Question number 23. If only that girl would have stopped to pick me up, I wouldn't be in his mess right now. I was leaving Chester's mill for a reason. Now I am supposed to lead a group of people who barely know me and some who hate me in the midst of the chaos. No one can get in, no one can get out and a used car salesman is running the show. If only that girl had stopped to pick me up. Here who said these lines? Option A. James Bigzim Rennie. Option B. Dale Barbara. Option C. Rusty Everett. And option D. Melvin CLS. Here, option B is correct, that is, Dale Barbara said these lines. Why and when, let us see. Dale Barbara was attempting to hitch, hitchhike out of Chester's mill after getting beaten up by a gang of four guys the under the doom. In under the doom. A short order cook 
a short order cook and former army officer a girl nearly stopped to pick him up but changes her mind at the last minute and drives on minutes later an invisible doom crashes down on chester's mills creating chaotic chaos the continues to grow in multitude creating chaos that continues to grow in multitude cut off from the world used car salesman and meth dealer jim rennie attempts to seize control of the town while the pentagon has ordered dale to take control of the town in a town that becomes more of a dictatorship and with no way to escape dale tries desperately to establish some order zim is no hurry to relinquish his sudden power over the town dale soon finds that his army credentials don't mean much when he is the only one on the inside of the doom question number 24 people thought i was only a pen name a pen name you think idea like the pop up out of nowhere you think you can just get rid of me thad think again i'll kill everyone you love i'm the reason for your success everyone likes my stories better than yours destroy me and i'll destroy you who said these lines james eric gardner alan pangborn george stark and option d belly d lips lips here correct option is george stark in in the dark half thad beaumont writes his own novels but the one he wrote the one he writes under the pen name george stark are far more successful and far more gruesome than his own after it's discovered that thad and george are one the same one and the same thad does an article in people magazine where there is a picture of a grave for george stark that's when things start to get interesting after thad disposes of george george starts to manifest himself physically crimes are committed with george thad's fingerprints left behind even though he has an alibi sheriff allen panborn can't explain the physical evidence left behind thad starts to worry about his family's safety and his own sanity allen pangborn appears in needful things readers also learn thad beaumont's faith in bag of bones the concept for this story was based on stephen king's own alter ego richard batchman being discovered last question which story is the character curtis anderson from option a the green meal the green mile sorry option b all that you loved will be carried away option c pet cemetery and option d from a book 8 here correct option is option a the green mile <coughs> is the story from where this character curtis anderson has come from curtis anderson is the second in command at cold mountain prison in stephen king's serial novel the green mile he only appears at a few executions throughout the book and for the film the part was cut altogether friends by this we have completed the question answers mcqs of day 21st and uh, if you require any pdf any mcqs just let us know just drop a message or send an email in this email id i hope you all are preparing well and i wish you all all the best and all the success to the true aspirants thank you so much for joining us take care